Walling provides you a visual workspace to lay out your ideas and projects into a cohesive, digestible, and editable digital format. Today we're going to go over a multitude of ways to use Walling to organize. So let's say you have a new product launch coming and you want to make sure that you have everything that you need to do outlined in a very organized manner so that you can make this the most successful product launch that you've ever had. Thankfully, there's a multitude of ways you can do that with Walling, so let's explore a few. So here we are in Walling, fresh blank slate. Uh, we can go ahead and start a new wall. There's a handful of templates you can pick from or samples and examples that you can use to sort of give yourself some inspiration on what to do and how to use Walling best for the tasks that you want to use it for. Um, but I usually go with blank. That's my go-to, so let's go ahead and make a blank one. So let's title our wall new product. And we can actually change the icon for the wall as well to the, to the left of the title here to any icon that we'd like. There's tons of icons to pick from. So let's search box real quick. I like this little present. I think that's a great one for the product. <laughs> so the icon, I mean, the icon even helps with, you know, just kind of visually quickly identifying what the wall is regarding, you know, here, if you have like a massive list of walls and stuff, um, it's a great way to quickly see like which wall is which. Now here we have just a completely blank canvas which I know, very daunting, but not to worry. Let's get started. Here we have our first section, so let's go ahead and call it tasks. All we have to do is just double click to start our first brick, and each brick has a heading and a sort of a body section, so let's call the heading confirm launch date. So now is the time to just brain dump everything you have regarding this uh, task of the product launch into this visual workspace so that we can sort of have a better view of everything and get it out of our brains and in front of us. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, got everything added. And you know, honestly, this is the best part about the visual view is because, you know, we have everything out of our heads and in front of us and it just provides you with clarity and it allows you to feel like you're on top of everything because it's just right here, right in front of you. Now, if we wanted to add some additional columns to our visual workspace, it's pretty easy. All you do is just go into the settings of the section right here, the little um, slider button right here. And we can actually increase the number of columns pretty easily. So if we had, you know, a lot of bricks that we wanted to make sure that we could all see in sort of one really easy, quick way, it is just that easy to just add some additional columns to make sure that we can see everything all at once. So as you can see here, I have a handful of checkboxes for each of these tasks, so subtasks within the task. Making checkboxes is really easy. There's a couple ways to go about it. So let's say, for example, right here we have a few items, and we, if we wanted to turn those into checkboxes, you just go to the three dots right next to the text that you want to turn into something, and there's an option right here called Turn Into and you can change that to a checklist. Checklists are so quintessential, I feel like, to you know organizing your tasks and everything, just because you can simply you know click something and call it done. And as you can see here, Walling even provides you with a percentage completed in that list of checkboxes. So once we have everything completed, it's 100% done. The other way that we can add checkboxes is just by simply hitting the checklist button right here and that adds another line of checklists. We can also do bullets. And those are just a couple of options that you can use to organize your content in your bricks is between checkboxes or bullet lists. We can also add links pretty easily. All you have to do is just hit this embed link button right here at the bottom and it pops up this little entry box. So you just add your link, bam. And then there is an embedded link right there that you can just have clickable. We can also add files directly from our computer. So as you can see, it's super easy to add resources regarding your bricks and tasks right there available to you just to use as you need it. Another great feature is you can assign bricks to people just by hitting this little uh, person icon at the bottom here. Uh, I can assign it to myself and I can even add a due date. So let's say it's due next Wednesday. We can even include a timer. Uh, so let's say we want it to remind us at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, and that will send us a push notification, that will send us an email, that will send us a desktop notification depending on, you know, if you have that turned on. This becomes especially in handy um, when you have multiple people that are working on one wall together, which you can easily invite others to work on your walls with you uh, just by hitting the plus icon up here and inviting them via their email address, which will invite them to make an account. And there they can access the, the wall very easily, make edits, you can, you can assign permissions and things like that super easily. The other great thing about assigning bricks is that when you assign a brick to someone, it actually shows up in their My Tasks section on Walling, uh, which is right here on the left side. There's a My Tasks section at the top there. If you go there, all the tasks that are assigned to you will show up there. 
Um, just because that, that provides you a much better way of looking at everything that you need to do all in front of you right here with all the due dates and anything that's specifically assigned to you is right here. It's great. From here, you can even actually mark a brick complete just by going to the three dots in the corner and hitting mark complete. And it actually is moved into the completed bucket on the wall that it came from as well, which is down here. And you can also quickly look at the things that you have completed in case you want to go back and you know see what you've done already. Super easy to do. All right, back to what we got going on here. Now that we've got everything in front of us, we can go ahead and start organizing a little bit further. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and color code mine based on sort of the type of task it is. So you can do that just by hitting the three dots and there are a handful of colors that you have down here to pick from. So let's go ahead and assign them some colors based on what they are. All right, now that we've got everything color coded, it's pretty clear we have some definitive types of tasks. And I feel like this is a great time to introduce the Kanban view, uh, which is another view available for a section. You can easily change the view type of your section just by going to the top right of your section and changing it to whatever one you'd like to use. So let's go ahead and hit Kanban view. And Kanban view is basically just a column style view so now that we've got it in Kanban view, we can actually change the titles and color code our columns. So let's go ahead and add some column titles. We can even add columns pretty easily just by hitting that add column right here. All right, now that we've got all of our columns, we can start moving our bricks into their various respective columns. We can actually color code our columns pretty easily to correspond with the types of tasks we have going on, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> and that's basically Kanban view. You can easily organize your um, tasks into different columns and then also use it for tracking too, because like let's say we have this to do that we're working on, we can move it over to the doing column and that shows us and everyone that's in our walls what's being worked on currently. So let's go ahead and try a different view. Let's try list view. Now this view is great because it breaks all your bricks into line items instead, which are all easily expandable just by hitting this lovely little expand icon next to each of the titles. And you can dive into them and see everything that's going on with them. There's a handful of options for list view as well. Tons of different checkboxes you can go through. You can have a mark complete. You can have a row number display in case you want to sort them by importance perhaps. Um, you can also add assigned to, so you can see who has each brick. All those items are available to you to customize your list view. Going from Kanban view to list view really shows where all the heavy lifting that walling does for you takes place because the transition between Kanban view and list view is extremely seamless because not only is the formatting just held together for you when you switch between them, but it also translates them into the other views very quickly and very easily. Now, if you like list view, but want to take it a step further, table view might be the one for you. This version is pretty similar to list view, but you can get even more nuanced with the columns that you have for each brick because each column is editable by their type. So we have a handful of different types. We have a string, which is just letters, um, a number, a checkbox, a date, a URL, uh, due date, assigned to, row number, created at, created by. So there's tons of different uses for these kinds of things. So, you know, the string is great for additional notes for each brick. A URL could be really important to what you got going on for each of the bricks. An easy one would be, let's say, a number. And then you could do, you could start tracking like time taken to complete. And then you could start tracking how much time it takes to complete each task. So let's say it's 50 minutes, 45 minutes, 30 minutes that kind of thing. And then you can actually calculate how what the average time it takes for you to complete one task is. And there you have it. Just a handful of ways to use Walling and its various section views to organize your tasks um, side by side without having to go through tons of clicks and provide a lot of clarity to your work and overall just increase your productivity. I hope this provides you with some inspiration on how you can use Walling to organize your next big project.